Hello and welcome back to another character preview video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at Divine Knockout or DKO. This is a third person platform fighter. You can become a small but mighty god of myth and brawl in three dimensions. Knock your friends or foes off the map to reign supreme. It looks kind of great. I love the art style. I like what they're going for here. You will definitely recognize a lot of the gods we're going to be checking out. And in this video, we're going to be having a look at all of them. We'll check out all the gods, we'll look at their abilities, we'll have a quick peek at their talent trees, we'll check the cosmetic options available for them, and then finally we'll look at the game shop to see what's available there. So, if you'd like to do a deep dive, discover more about this game, you can do so. It is going to be free to play, as far as I understand. I'll put all the links that you need below, and you can also check the timestamps of the video out if you'd like. They'll get you where you want to go, so you can leave satisfied. With all of that said, let us jump in. And get started. We're going to have a look at the first one right here. Her name is Ama Terasu. She's Japanese. Difficulty 2 out of 3. There you go. Now, I'm going to start things by having a look at the abilities. I'm going to sort of go through it like this. And then at the end, you'll see the customization, which will be the skins. So, we'll just see what she, what she does, what she's about. Then we'll look at what she's got extra. Agility and Relentless Blade make Amaterasu a formidable opponent. She strikes quickly and decisively, knocking her foes all around the arena, launching them upwards, downwards, and even backwards. Cool. Sunseeker Dash. She dashes forward a long distance before flying upwards with a sword uppercut. Heavenly Strike slash through enemies in front of you. Enemies are hit and knocked back in the opposite direction. Sunlit Uppercut. Slash upward and rise into the air. Enemies... Hit or knocked into the air directly in front of you. And then finally, her ultimate is Final Light. Send a ray of light forward. Enemies hit cannot move and are rapidly slashed before being finished off with a heavy knockback. You can, needless to say, try every single hero in the practice range, I guess you could call it. And you can give these all sort of a, a fair test in moves. It's the same ones we just looked at. Um, her regular attacks, light attack, air light attack, heavy attack... Hold heavy attack and air heavy attack. Then you've got a dodge on all the characters. As far as I understand, these are going to be the same for most of the characters, but there might be differences. You know, some characters, some gods will have unique ways of interacting with the world and other characters. So I'll just check it out every time. Her talents. This is where I am going to basically sort of, not so much skip, but I'm going to sort of fast track it through because there's a lot of different talents and a lot of different ways to customize the heroes but the way it works is you have traits and blessings the traits you earn through the god pass that's by leveling the hero that you're playing up that's amaterasu here you level her up you get new traits and you can select as you see here one divine trait and three minor traits then the blessings are earned through the other gods passes or through hers you know it sort of crosses over and they can be used on any gods you own so if you sort of see some like passives or blessings that you like then you can jump onto a character get those blessings there bring them over to the character that you want them on and these are some examples of them architect's reward knocking an enemy out grants 12 percent ultimate charge uh, pummel come back basically a bunch of stuff and as i mentioned you can jump in here and you can change it to whatever you see fit. Uh, you'll see that uh, Arthur's Insight, that's from King Arthur. Athena's Wisdom, Hercules' Strength, uh, Amaterasu's Luminance, and so on and so forth. This kind of stuff, again, I'm going to let you guys handle this. I can do a deep dive, but this might be a little too deep to dive into. <laughs> and it's also a little weird if it crosses over constantly. Uh, so basically, you can have a look at the kind of stuff that's available here. And uh, I will I will quickly click through all of it and scroll through all of it. Then you can see it in the video. But for the most part, this is something you're going to have to look at yourself. Because this is the kind of stuff that affects your gameplay. And uh, it's different for every hero that you choose. So you're going to want to know when you're playing. As I mentioned though, each of them has one. It sort of shows you here. Each of them has their own uh, blessing that you can get. And then there are a bunch of minor ones that will also come from the different heroes. These are also crossed over between the different heroes, so... I will scroll through these each on every hero, just so that if you use the timestamps, and this will be the same as that, then you'll find what you're looking for. The God Pass. Every hero has their own God Pass. Uh, this is specifically Amaterasu's one. Here we have Sharpened Blade. That's a trait. Then you get some stars. This is a currency you can use in the store. That's the 
free-to-play currency, I guess you could call it. Agile Aura. Uh, XP. I guess this is just, uh, yeah, a bonus for the next few matches. There's another Lesser Blessing. Uh, let's just go like this to the next page. Spark of Brilliance. That's a divine trait. More stars. Banishment. More stars. XP. Humble. Even more stars. Empowered Aura. Amaterasu's Luminance. Switch in strike, stars, 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 and finally a skin. This is the one that they put like basically at the end of all the god passes. You get like a golden skin. It's like a flashier version of the regular skin. But we're about to look at that over here. So skins available for her. Currently only these two. We got the regular one and we got the golden one. You can view them up close like this. And you will notice that the ones that are unlocked through achievement... They don't have a price on them, so you can't purchase it. You have to actually find out where it's from and then get it like that. But that brings us to the end of the first era. So we're going to jump back now. These things, I'm going to show you these, but these are on every single one of them. So basically, uh, your emotes, every hero will have the same one. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll see that there are some that are sort of hero specific. Uh, but for the most part, even the hero specific ones are on all of them. As you can see. Knockout effects. It's the effect that happens when you knock someone out. Kind of cool, I guess. I will show these on every single hero once again. And then your crater. It's what happens when you knock the ground really hard. You know? <laughs> it's like you can, you, can put a, you can put a label or a sticker on it to make it look cooler. That's that for Amaterasu. We jump in onto the next one. Athena, she's Greek. Difficulty 3. She looks fantastic. Athena. Looks really cool. Uh, so even if you don't have the god, you can uh, well either unlock it or you can try it before you do. So, Athena's heavy shield makes her difficult opponent to face. Her defenses allow her to stay in the fight. And her mighty spear toss leaves no enemy safe at any range. Ancient guardians answer her call and can quickly turn the tide of battle. Cool. Very cool. Uh, let's have a look. Protector Guardian. Jump into the air and leap to target location. Damage in enemies where you land. You gain knockback protection and damage protection for a brief duration. Spear toss. Toss a spear that does damage and can be used as a launch pad if thrown into the ground. Parry. Raise your shield to perform protective bubble. Uh, you parry and counter attack enemies that hit you while the bubble is active. And then finally Aegis charge. Summon two groups of guardians that travel forward. Yeah. It's cool. It's kind of cool. You can see her moves over here. That's the ones we just went through. And then her attacks will be the same as Amaterasu that we saw before. Light attack, air light attack, heavy, hold heavy attack. Uh, they're also air heavy attacks. There you go. Air heavy attack and dodge. So it pretty much explains itself. Talents. I'm going to scroll through these very quickly as I did with the previous one. The way it works, and I'm going to explain this on every hero, just quick, is you have... Traits and blessings. Traits are the goodies that give you extras on your hero itself. They're the sort of more major ones. Uh, they, they are more active as well in that they do things that are slightly more uh, based on the specific god that you select in and slightly more impactful. Then you have blessings which are extras from any god. Basically the blessings you can get them from other gods and bring them over here. They are in a global pool that you can select from. So, there are a few of those. Those are the major ones. These are the minor ones. You can see them over here. It'll be the same ones, as you can see, uh, on all three of these. Because, well, you know, you pick you pick out of a pool of, of minor ones. Uh, these ones, again, each of them has one. Uh, so you can sort of mix and match, which I think is kind of cool. It's a great system. Firstly, it gets people to play all the different heroes. And secondly... Or it gives you a reason to play them, I should say. And secondly, it allows a lot of customization. So you are going to play on Athena here. You can use an ability, a blessing, from any of the other heroes. There's a very slim chance that someone else is going to use the same one. Unless it becomes like a meta thing and you, uh, and you know that there's a specific one that's best. Otherwise, I think it's kind of cool. God Pass. This is just a little experience track for Athena herself. Each hero has one of these. It unlocks the traits and the blessings and stuff like that, uh, and it gives you stars. So you'll see here, shield wall, stars, acrobatic, uh, XP boosters, 
Guarded Stance. Let's just go like this. Extra Stars. Protectors Grace. More Stars. Uh, Aerial Ace. Even more Stars. Experience. Sharp Insight. Long Shot. Athena's Wisdom. Spring in your step. Stars, Stars, Stars. And then finally the Gold Athena Skin. Each of them gets a gold skin at the end. It's kind of nice. I, I like the gold skins. I think they look amazing. Uh, visually, they are quite stunning. Then, we move over to customize. The skins available for her, slightly more plentiful than the previous one. This is fantastic. Uh, here we have the gold one. You earned that in the past, as I mentioned. Uh, this one over here, I'm not sure where it's from right now. Currently, it's locked. It might be in the store. We're going to go have a look. Uh, but I think it would have had a price on it there. This is Dark Heart Athena. Looks amazing. A stark contrast to what you've seen over here. It's pretty sick, huh? Like, really nice. And then Nature's Wisdom, Athena. You can see that this one, you can unlock with 800 of those. I think they're called runes. Very cool as well. These are these are great skins. Like, really nice. And again, I can't say enough good about the characters. I think that they're amazing. They look really nice. Emotes we looked at on the previous hero, and they're the same here. These are sort of global. Uh, you can unlock ones that feature certain heroes, but you can use them on all of them. Knockout effects, that's when you knock someone out. There are ones that are available for stars and ones that are available for runes. As far as I understand, the runes are the premium currency and the stars are the free currency. Kind of nice. It looks like a lot of stuff is available for stars. So it's nice to see. And then your crater, that's when you hit the ground or a wall or something like that really hard. You leave a crater behind. You can sort of pimp it out if you'd like. And that's that. Now we can move on. Next up, we have Hercules. He's a Roman. Difficulty 2 out of 3. Hercules. Hercules uses his impossible strength to crush and overpower. The demigod rips out Earth to throw at opponents and charges at foes to quickly close long distances. Enemies beware when he enrages. He looks sick. Yeah. Pounce. Leap into the air with momentum. Upon refiring this ability, you slam straight down to the ground, damaging enemies. Boulder Toss. Rip a boulder out of the ground and throw it at enemies as a projectile. Driving strike, charge forward and slam into enemies and then Berserker Rage. Enter a Berserk state where you are fully immune and unleash a flurry of powerful hits. Sounds good. Yeah. And you can look at his moves. That's the same ones we just checked out. And his attacks. Light attack. Air light. Heavy. Hold heavy. It's a charged attack. Air heavy. And finally, dodge. Talents. I'm, I'm sort of running through the talents and the system every time I come here. Just in case you skip the other heroes and jump straight to Hercules. But basically there are traits and blessings. Uh, traits are specific to Hercules. They basically affect his own abilities. Uh, and then blessings are global. Uh, they can come from any hero. So these are the divine traits. They're the three big ones that you can get. You get these by leveling the pass. The minor ones, they do slightly lesser things. Uh, there are fewer of them because you have, actually have three slots here and there's only five to pick from. So, you know, uh, it, it's sort of. Well, actually, no, there isn't only five. There's three here and then there's four more. So it's eh, there's a decent selection. But you level the pass to get them. Uh, they do a variety of different things. Uh, again, specific to the heroes. And then the greater blessings, they come from other heroes. You play the other hero uh, to a certain level. It looks like it's 15. Then you unlock the blessing and you can use it on any hero. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. And if you want to see these, you must just pause the video or slow motion it or something like that. And you can see these are the minor ones, lesser ones. Uh, these are also from the other heroes. But again, this is the kind of thing you're going to want to look at yourself when you jump into the game. I'm pretty sure you can probably also see it on the website. Got a pass. Here we go. This is where you unlock the traits, the blessings, stuff like that. Uh, payback. Stars, that's no pain, no gain. Experience, reckless, it's a lesser blessing. Uh, stars, momentum, a divine trait. More stars, tough it out, minor trait. Even more stars, experience, shut down, that's a lesser blessing. Again, that's the global ones, the blessing ones. Uh, that's stars, agility training, Hercules' strength. Then here we have the boulder, which is a divine trait. Stars, 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 and then the golden skin. They all have golden skins. He looks fantastic in his gold skin. It's kind of cool. Moving on to customize. Skins. He has some pretty cool ones. <laughs> I like it. Uh, here you got like sort of a regular Olympian hero skin. It's, a, it's an uncommon one as you can see. This is an epic one. That's the gold one. And then you have here, serious business Hercules. 
I really like this one. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it looks great. He looks good in a suit, man. He looks good in a suit. He's got some tattoos there. Got the glasses on. Yeah. I dig it. Then in the rest of the customized menu, they got emotes. I mention this every time, but they're the same on all the characters. Knockout effects. Some can be purchased with the free currency. Some can be purchased with premium currency. And it's basically just the effect that happens when you knock someone out. You can sort of customize the experience a little bit. Finally, your crater. It's when you hit a wall or the ground or something like that. That's it. That's Hercules. Next up. Izanami. Japanese difficulty 1 out of 3. There we go. Driven by wrathful anger, Izanami expertly wields her Kama sickles to slice and dice her way across the battlefield. She can quickly scuttle towards her foes and follow up with devastating attacks or release a frightening apparition to send them running away in fear. I like how her abilities look. It's really nicely done. Fade. Rise high into the air and select a ground location. Upon landing, you become invisible. Seek in sickle. Throw a sickle projectile that comes back to you after a brief duration. Lunge and cleave, scamper forward quickly and slash multiple enemies or multiple times with your sickles. Then finally her ulti is spectral projection. Izanami unleashes a spectral projection that fears enemies it touches. After traveling for a while it splits into multiple pro projections that guard an area, fearing additional enemies that come into range. Hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Moves. I like, <laughs> I like the little animations and stuff. That's the ones we looked at. Attacks, again the same, light attack, air light, heavy, hold heavy, air heavy, and dodge. Her talents, here we go. These are the regular talents specific to her hero. The blessings are the ones that are global. Now you can unlock more blessings from different heroes and use them here. But the traits, they are specific to her, to Izanami. These are the three big ones you can use. They're the divine traits. Uh, these are the minor ones that you can use, once again. They are specific to her. You can fill up these slots with those. And then the greater blessings. You get like a default one here. That's basically the architect's reward. Uh, then you can then you can unlock the special ones from each of the heroes. We'll, we'll get to all the heroes and you'll sort of see what they do. Uh, as an example, here's is an army's one is knock out an enemy. When you do uh, when you do knock out an enemy, it heals 12 vulnerability. And that's all of them. And then the minor ones, you also get them from other heroes. We currently have Pummel. There's a lot of them. That's why I'm going pretty quick here. I know for the most part, people don't want to sit through too much of this stuff. But there it is. If you wanted to see any of it, you can pause it. You can obviously have different talent sets here. God Pass. These are the abilities that we just saw back there that you unlock. There's a minor trait, some stars. This is the freemium currency. Terrifying minor trait. Some XP boosts. Killing blow. Uh, hello. There we go. Double-edged sickle. Stars. Sneaky. Hmm. More stars. More experience. Sharpened sickle. Encroaching doom. Is an army's revenge. And then finally, alone in the dark. Stars, stars, stars. And her golden skin. Very cool. I like her golden skin. Speaking of skins, let's check what she's got. Just the golden one for now. These are obviously going to be added over time, which is perfectly fine. Emotes. Here we are. These are global. They're across all the characters, in case you haven't noticed by now. Knockout effects, also global. Nice that most of them are purchasable with the stars, which is the in-game currency. There you go. And finally, the craters. It's cool. There you go. That happens whenever you get knocked into something. Next up, King Arthur. He is Arthurian. Nice. Difficulty, two and a half out of three. Or is that one and a half? One and a half out of three. Sorry. <laughs> Today, Lumen learns to count stars. All right. Empowered by the mighty sword Excalibur, King Arthur uses divine power to stun his opponents and send waves of pure energy across the battlefield. In times of need, Excalibur can grant him extra strength for Camelot. And for victory. Obviously. Duh. Alright. Albion's Rally. Jump into the air and slam down target location. You place a banner where you land that provides increased movement speed to allies. 
Soaring Edge, unleash an energy wave projectile that damages and slows enemies. Blinding Light, Excalibur flashes in a frontal cone, enemies hit are stunned. And then finally, Might of Excalibur, slam the ground with Excalibur, empowering it. Excalibur gains increased range and damage for a short period of time. Not bad. Seems good, seems good. Attacks are the same. Light attack, air light, heavy, uh, hold heavy, air heavy, and dodge. Talent wise, there are the talents at the top. Uh, these are the traits they're called. And then these are the blessings. The traits are specific to Arthur himself. You get one divine trait, one of these three. And you get the minor traits, one of this bunch here. You can select three of those in total. And then the blessings, they come from all the other heroes in the pool. You have to play them to level 15. Then you can unlock their blessing and use their blessing on any old character you want. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Then there are minor ones here. Same system, same thing. Except you only need to level to 5 to unlock them. Again, if you'd like to check these out, I recommend jumping into the game and looking for yourself. It's... Uh, the easiest way to do it. God Pass. You unlock your traits here for the hero and your blessings for the other heroes. For Camelot, some stars and a bunch of stars and experience. For Avalon, experience boosters. Inspired. Stars, Master Swordsmanship. More stars. Dazing Lights as a minor trait. More experience. Upward Slash, that's a lesser blessing. More stars. Discombobulated. Yeah. Arthur's Insight, that's a greater blessing on level 15. Rallying King. And then Stars, Stars, Stars. And his Golden Skin. It's always golden black. It always looks good. I like it a lot. Customize. Here we have a few interesting skins. That's the gold one. The Dark Knight. That's pretty amazing. I like that. And Legend's Dawn. That's the rookie one. Yeah. Kind of sick. Those are the skins available. Emotes and stuff, all the same. DKO Founder, GG. Got the balloons. Got the, what is that, Athena or something. Sword in the Stone. And the Alpha one. Knockout effects. These are purchasable using premium currency and freemium currency. Mm, they're kind of cool. And then the craters. As you can see. It's when you hit something... You make a crater. That's it for Arthur. Next up we have... Sol. Norse. Difficulty, 2 out of 3. Sol's fiery nature combined with her mastery of the sun gives her an arsenal of toasty abilities from ranged fireballs to consecutive explosions and the ability to throw a portion of the sun itself. You will want to avoid her gaze lest you get burned. Hmm. It's a good intro. She looks fantastic. Uh, that's... Disapparate? Dis disapparate? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. I encounter a word I've never seen before. Well, there it is. Turn into a fireball that travels in the direction you are looking. You are knocked back immune during this ability. Hmm. Uh, fireball? That's a much easier word. Lob a fireball projectile that leaves a lingering flame when it explodes. Combustion, gather energy for a short period, then release it as an explosion around you. And finally, the ultimate is Supernova. Raise high into the air and throw a massive fireball projectile at the target location. These are the same abilities. You can see them over here. And then her attacks. Light attack, air light, heavy attack, hold heavy, air heavy attack, and dodge. I actually imagined there might be some different ones here, but it seems like everyone really just has the same ones. These are the talents, the traits and blessings. They are customized on every hero separately. The traits themselves are for the hero itself and the blessings are global. Uh, so you unlock these by playing the hero and leveling it up. Those are the major ones. These are the minor ones. And then the blessings you also get by leveling the hero up, but they can be put on other heroes. Each hero has one that they can unlock on level 15, which is the Greater Blessing. And then there are smaller ones that can be unlocked on level 5. And you can equip three in total every time. There's one big one, two small ones. And again, each hero has the same stuff. 
in their hero pass, which you'll see in just a moment, their god pass. I keep calling them heroes, but they're actually gods. You'll see here, when we go over to the god pass, they have the same ones locked behind the same levels. Uh, as you level, you get healing flame, that's a trait. Stars, Floyd's Lava, same, I say, but obviously unique to them. Some experience, hot-headed, more stars, explosive, more stars, hot streak, experience, preheated, sunspots, soul's temper, this is going critical, then star, star, stars, and her golden skin. Looks fantastic. Then, customize. Skins. That's the regular one, that's the golden one. Biohazard Soul, that looks pretty amazing. Nice green. And Flame Forged Soul. Very cool. Very, very cool. I like the skins. Yeah, I like them a lot. Okay. Emotes. These are in fact shared across all the characters. Same for these ones. There'll probably be more of these added at some point in the future. These are your knockout effects. When you knock someone out, that's the sort of animation that plays. Unless that's when you get knocked out, I'm actually not entirely sure. And these are your craters. When you hit something really hard, then it makes this crater. Next up, Susano. Susano. Here we go. Susano unleashes a whirlwind of attacks utilizing wind. He excels at launching his opponents upward to be sliced by his aerial strikes beware of the swirling typhoon unless you want to be blown away okay so it's wind power updraft raise high into the air and select a ground location you land with a spinning flourish knocking enemies away swirling tempest call forth a tornado projectile that travels forward launching enemies hit into the air storm katana oh storm kata sorry uh it could have been katana as well but i don't know if that is a katana it's got like notches in it Susana unleashes three strikes that can be used in sequence by refiring the ability within four seconds of the previous fire. The final hit knocks the target into the air. And his ulti, Summer Storms, conjure a massive typhoon at target location. Enemies hit are pulled to the center and held in place. When you fly through the typhoon, uh, knock everyone out with powerful strikes. Okay. Cool. Cool. Those are the abilities right there. Would it be nice if they showed an animation of them? Maybe they will one day. His regular attacks are light attack, air light, heavy, hold heavy, air heavy, and dodge. Talents. I say this every time, but I'm trying to make sure everyone sees what they need to see. These are your traits at the top and your blessings at the bottom. As you can see here, it tells you that the traits are specific to the character. The blessings are global. Uh, so there are three divine traits you can pick between. Boom, boom, and boom. Just for him, for Susano. And then minor ones, also just for Susano, the traits. They usually affect his abilities and what he can do, stuff like that. Very much thematic. Then, your blessings, they are unlocked on level 15, the greater ones, and the minor ones on 5. And they provide you abilities from other characters that you can use on this character. So if I level Susano up, then I'll get Susano's Alacrity, hit an enemy with a heavy air attack, resets your ability to use air light attack. It's like, you know, extra goodies that you can get for each character, basically. And the minor ones... So it gives you a reason to play the other characters to get the passives or the uh, traits and blessings and stuff that you want to share across all of the characters. These are unlocked. As you can see this. Oh, there's actually someone level 5 and then someone level 12. I, I see that now. Okay. The God Pass. This is his specific little pass unique to him. Air Cushion. Stars. Relentless. Experience. Like the Wind. Stars. Kata combos, stars, windrunner, stars, XP booster, sudden gust, more stars, flash step, Susano's alacrity, that's the greater blessing we spoke about, uh, rising winds, and then a bunch more stars, and then his golden armor. His golden one looks really nice. Again, they all look really nice. Uh, I didn't mean to go up there. The only skin he has right now is the golden one, which is fine. There will be more. These are your emotes. This you can sort of just throw down on the ground when you're busy playing. It's kind of cool, I guess. Kind of cool. Knockout effects. I don't know. I don't know if this is when you knock someone out or if you get knocked out, but either way, uh, it's kind of cool. It's nice that a lot of them can be bought with the uh, stars. 
and then your crater. So when you hit the ground or a wall or something, it makes that on there. Okay, next up we have Thanatos. Greek, difficulty 2 out of 3. Thanatos. Thanatos empowers his abilities using his own life force and can steal the essence of foes to heal himself. He swoops, lunges and swings away at enemies with his iconic scythe. Those who are close to death, beware. Hover in death. Rise into the air and hover around, then dive down through selected area and quickly re-emerge, knocking everyone outward. Take 5 damage on use, deal extra damage and knock back to targets over 100% vulnerability. The E is Soul Leech. An enlarged scythe erupts from the target location, knocking enemies towards you. Enemies hit, release 5 orbs that heal you. Take 5 damage on use. Targets over 100% vulnerability take extra damage and knock back and spawn 3 extra orbs. On the hunt... Swing your scythe in a wide arc in front of you, take extra damage on use, deal extra damage and knock back to targets of 100% vulnerability. And finally, Mortal Coil. Charge forward quickly on touching enemy, pull them into the air and leech their life before swatting them away with a powerful strike. And once again, take 5 damage on use, also deals damage and knock back to targets of 100% vulnerability. Cool. There's the regular abilities again, the attacks. I, I was hoping there'd be one that was different, but they're all the same. Light attack, air light, heavy, hold heavy. Air Heavy and Dodge. His talents. These are the traits specific to Thanatos. These are the blessings that are global. Uh, you get the traits by leveling the hero up. You can pick a divine trait and minor traits. Those are the divine traits right there. The minor ones. There you go. You can see where you get them from. God Pass. Level 3, 9, 14 and so on and so forth. And then these ones are already unlocked. The blessings. You get them from other heroes. As you can see on level 15, you unlock that hero's blessing and you can use it on any of the heroes. I'm not actually sure if you can use your own blessing on your own hero. I assume you can. Uh, we don't have any others except the architect's one and then the other uh, pummel and comeback, which are sort of global ones as well. They aren't linked to any specific hero. And there's a bunch of them. You unlock them on level 5 and on level 12. There's a real bunch of them. You should definitely check the game out yourself if you want to have a look at all these stuff. God Pass. There you go. Gaze from above. Stars. Unyielding. Experience. Weakness in numbers. Nice. Stars. Speed Demon. That's a divine trait. Stars is a minor trait. It's death is nigh. More stars. XP Boost. There's a lesser blessing over here. Healthy Spirit. Essence of Vigor. Hmm. Thanatos' Favor is the greater blessing. Blood Omen is a divine trait, and then a bunch of stars, and then the golden skin. That looks really cool. It's like a big departure from the skin we had on. Then, here's the other skin we have. That's Dark Omen Thanatos. Ooh, and the golden one. Good skins. I like them. This is really cool. Really, really cool. Huh. Then we have emotes. Each character has the same ones, or at least each account has the same ones. Some can be unlocked with stars. Some can be unlocked with the uh, runes that you buy. Knockout effects. There you go. I, I think it's runes that you buy. I'm really not 100% sure. Like, I, I don't know. It's, there's a little plus here, which it makes me believe that that's the way it works. Crater. This is when you hit the ground or a wall or anything. It makes that crater on the ground. You can customize it. Then we have Thor, his Norse, difficulty 1. Thor uses Mjolnir to toss his enemies around and channel the power of lightning into his attacks, whether it be throwing the mighty hammer at foes or crashing into the ground and imbuing the earth itself with thunder, you would do well to stay clear of his strength and of Mjolnir. Anvil of Dawn, rise into the air and select ground location, slam down with Mjolnir and stun enemies in the area. Almost all of them have a movement ability on Q. Uh, Mjolnir's attunement, I think they all do actually. Throw Mjolnir forward as a projectile it erupts at maximum range, dealing extra damage and knockout, uh, knockback. Berserker's Barrage. Spin around three times with Mjolnir before unleashing a powerful final swing. And then Tectonic Rift. Channel lightning into Mjolnir and then slam into the ground. The earth erupts in a line, launching enemies away and creating an impossible wall. He's waving at us. Nice. Those are the abilities. Attacks are the same as all the others. Light, air light, heavy, hold heavy and air heavy, along with a dodge. The talents. The talents work like this. They are split into traits and blessings. 
Traits are God specific, earned through the God Pass. Uh, the Divine Traits, the big one, you can get one of three choices. The Minor Traits are smaller, all unlocked by just leveling the hero up, basically. Uh, you can select three of those in total, as you can see. And then the Blessings are shared amongst all the heroes. And what happens is you unlock them on level 15, and then you can sort of, sort of let's say, take the Thor one, use it on uh, Sol. Or take the Sol one, use it on Thor, vice versa, anything you want, mix and match. It gives you a reason to play the other heroes, I guess, to get the things you want. Same thing for the minor ones. They are unlocked on level 5 on all the heroes, and on level 12 on all the heroes. This will obviously expand as the game expands. There will be more stuff in the game as it progresses. And there's a good chance at some point in the future I'll come back and have a look at all the new stuff that they add. God Pass. This is your hero-specific leveling. Uh, here you get the abilities, the traits, all that stuff, along with stars. So there's Face the Hammer, Distant Thunder, XP Boosters, Charge It Up, Warrior's Madness, the Divine Trait, Spinning Spree is a minor trait, stars, XP Boosters, Sharp Eyed, that's a lesser blessing. More stars, Charged Up, Thor's Landing, Strikes Twice, that's kind of a cool name, and then a bunch of stars, and the gold skin. The, all the gold skins are quite samey, but I think that's the idea, right? It just shows you've mastered the character. Yeah, the regular skins are... Hey, Withered Thor, that looks kind of sick. Yeah, okay. I like the designs. I think they're cool. They're really well done. Okay, emotes. These are on all the characters, they're the same. If you sort of buy an emote, it'll lock it on all of them. You can sort of just use emotes when you want. Knockout effects. Again, I don't know if it's when you get knocked out, or when you knock someone out. Maybe it's both. I don't know. It's most likely when you get knocked out. I don't know. Crater. It's when you get hit into a wall or the ground or something. And that's it. Our final hero. Emir. Norse. Difficulty 2 out of 3. Emir loves to push his weight around and bully his opponents for particularly agile foes. He uses his frost breath to slow them down to a standstill. If he gets on a roll, well, he turns into a snowball, of course. Avoid being caught in the snow if you want to stay on the field. Icicle slide. Glide forward, ride in an icicle, then launch yourself upwards when you finish gliding. Frost breath. Channel a frosty breath in front of you, slowing enemies down. If... Enemies are slowed enough, they become frozen in place. You are knockback immune while channeling. Ice wall, summon a wall of ice in front of you. The wall blocks enemies, allies, and projectiles. Finally, snowball. Turn into a snowball for six seconds. You grow in size over time, pick up enemies, you roll over, and when the snowball expires, enemies are launched out. These are his moves, the ones we just looked at. Attacks, light attack, air light, heavy, hold heavy attack, air heavy, and dodge. You can see what they are bound to there. The talents, I'm going to mention one final time. These are the traits that are specific to Emir here. These are the blessings that are for all the heroes. And you get one divine for each of them, a big one basically, and then minor ones. These are earned through doing the god pass, which you'll see in just a moment. And there are a bunch of them. There are a few good choices here. These ones. The blessings, the greater ones, are earned at level 15 from all heroes in their god pass. And you can use them cross hero. Cross god. Uh, you can sort of use any on whichever you want. And then the minor ones are the same. Uh, they just come from level 5, as you can see here. And level 12, as you will see in just a moment. And they can also be used cross god. Sort of wherever you want. Then, the God Pass. This is where you earn the stuff for this hero and for other heroes. Cannonball, minor trait. Some stars. Watch out below is another minor trait. Some XP boosters. Here's a lesser blessing. Best served cold. I don't know how fast it goes through here. I don't know how long it takes to earn this experience, but I imagine it takes a little while. Some more stars. Face Off is a divine trait. Frostbite's a minor trait. We have uh, more experience. Hefty swings, a lesser blessing. More minor traits there. Stay frosty and uh, greater blessings, Emir's Grit. Icicle Falls is a divine trait. And then Star, Star, Stars and Golden Emir. That looks fantastic. <laughs> I didn't expect the whole thing to be golden. Hmm. Cool. Customize. Let's have a look at the skins. We only have the golden one, unfortunately. But that's enough. For real. 
Uh, that's more than enough. The golden one is, is great. I like it a lot. Yeah, so those are the two. Then, finally, the emotes one more time. Uh, these are available on all the heroes. So if you buy it on this hero or right here, you will get it on all the others as well. Same thing goes for the knockout effects. And same thing goes for the... Craters. That's when you get knocked into something. And that right there brings us to the end of the available gods. But that's not the end of this video. The one last thing I wanted to look at is the in-game shop. There's also a profile over here that you can customize with things like these. That's like your, your little avatars. You can get cards and you can get titles. All right? Then, as I was saying, the shop. There's a rune stop and a, a star shop. The rune shop, you'll see the cool skins in here. Uh, you buy these with runes that you purchase with real money. Uh, I don't know how this system doesn't seem to be in place yet. I'm guessing it's only coming for launch. Uh, but I don't know how much they're going to cost or anything like that. My guess, uh, 1000 to 10 So $10 for 1000 That's generally the standard. But yeah, here's the skins that we saw in the hero previews or in the god previews. Here are some of the knockout effects and emotes. All of this should look familiar if you watch the entire video, but these are just different skins you can buy. Then the Star Shop actually also has a few cool things in, a bunch of knockout effects. You can buy God Tokens, which will allow you to unlock the heroes if you don't have them yet. There's a few different cards that you can get, very cool looking, like really nice. Even more. And that's it. That, my friends, is that. So. With all of that looked at, with all of that said and done, I'd love to hear from you guys what you think. I think that this game looks like it has an amazing amount of flavor. It looks like it has a fantastic style. I do hope that the gameplay will be as exciting as everything here looks, because I think this is awesome. You know, these are obviously characters we've seen many times before, but it's an interesting and fun spin on those characters. I'd love to hear from you guys which one is your favorite. I'd love to hear which you like the look of the most. Uh, personally, I really like how Thanatos looks. I, I like how Izanami looks. And uh, I don't know, I can't, I can't stay away from someone like Athena. She looks fantastic. They're my favorites right now, but they all look pretty great. So I'd love to hear from you guys what you think. If you've played it yourself, I'd love to hear what you think about the gameplay. The idea of it is it's meant to be something like uh, Smash, but playing in a 3D arena where you actually play in from a third person perspective. It's supposed to be similar to that in terms of gameplay, uh, but, you know, different with its own unique spin. So I like it. It's cool. Again, you can read a whole lot more about the game below by following the links. And I hope you guys do. And let me know what you think. So, check back here soon for more. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. I do appreciate it when you do. Most importantly, enjoy brawling with those gods if you do jump in. Happy that.